Alrighty, what's up, what's up, what's up everybody? Jonathan here with Boston Collectors and today's video is all about Batgirl. Now, this particular figure was announced some time ago. Uh, I couldn't give you the date, honestly. I don't really follow DC figures, but I kind of wanted to talk about this one with you all today. So, curious about your thoughts right away. Before we start diving into it, if you just want to kind of give me your thoughts, feel free to drop those down below. If not, let's go ahead and uh, let's get right into it. So, Let's start with the, uh, let's go over the product reveal images first. And I have this one up for a reason. So right away, you can see that they, uh, they, they took a few liberties here and, um, you know, we won't go into the, uh, into the specifics. I'm pretty sure that's apparent, especially considering this is an in-game image here. And this is the figure there, right? I mean, yeah, as you can tell. So they took they, they took some liberties. <laughs> One other thing, obviously prototypes differ from the final product reveal versus what they have prior. So this is the final product. And this is the the prototype. I honestly think the prototype, the face on this looks a lot better than this. It's so oval versus this being a little bit more round and that looks very similar to what we see in game right so we have this the prototype the game the final product reveal the game the face is just a little too oval in my opinion i don't know let me know what you all think down below i'd like to hear your thoughts on that so moving along Right away, um, honestly, I, I also feel like the, the gauntlets here look a lot better here versus on this figure. It looks a bit plasticky versus it appears bronze. Even if it's plastic, it appears, you know, sort of bronzy in that respect. Now, moving along, though, you have a couple more images. I'm not a fan of synthetic hair, uh, but I also understand that with a figure like this, you know, in terms of high posability, you may want to be able to turn that head a little bit. So again, another thing that I kind of want to hear your thoughts on. Are you cool with synthetic hair? Is this something that you don't mind? Or I still think I would have preferred um, the sculpted hair personally. So, I mean, you have your split cut boots. You got your split cut butt cheeks. I mean, this honestly does not feel like a premium figure like it looks it though don't get me wrong like i'm not going to disrespect the artist but when it comes to this body it just looks so you know it, it looks so bandai you know what i mean so so it, it it just doesn't look like a premium figure in the ass department now i don't think batgirl would have gone and done a pose like this this looks more um <laughs> Harley Quinn, maybe Poison Ivy-ish. I don't know about that one, but this looks dope. Again, I love the, uh, you sort of got these really nice scrapes and and, and uh, damage going on there on the Batgirl chest region that's sort of grayed out. If you can see it there uh, on the gold. I like that. There are also like tiny little nicks and dings on the suit as well. Very, very subtle though. Moving on, we have that high-flying bird kick. Again, she's very poseable, but I just don't like that midsection, personally. Kinder, I uh, really love that pose. <laughs> there we go. We have the uh, the batarangs. We got a couple of them there. We also have the grappling hook. This pleather, though, I feel is going to be a huge pain in the ass for uh, for fellow collectors. I'm just going to assume that this is pleather. It looked that way. I checked out the sideshow. Um, I checked out their unboxing. I'll go ahead and leave a link to that in the uh, description and up top for those of you who might be interested. Again, it doesn't look like a Batgirl pose, but, you know, we can do what we want, right? It's our uh, our figure. Again, it's just like here, it doesn't look that bad when you look um, again in her butt region that it doesn't look like a figure or as in like 
it doesn't look like an action figure. It's eight in the morning. I literally have my coffee in front of me and I've not started drinking it yet. So forgive me. Um, so, I mean, from this view, she looks really, really good, right? You can kind of see a little bit of that joint. We have the hacking device that she utilized in the video game. Uh, got the grappling hook again with the cape. This cape looks amazing, by the way. We need more of this, like, bendability and posability. We need that in Star Wars. Oh, she looks super, super soft. It went from, like, gritty to super soft here. And again, I, I hate to keep bringing it up, but that face is just so oval in comparison to the video game, in comparison to the prototype. It's just so oval. I'm not saying that it's a bad portrait. It's not. I just think this looks better, personally. Nice stance there. She looks so small from this perspective. Got that grappling hook again. I don't think that you can actually apply any of these uh, to her belt, by the way. It's just kind of like whatever you have her pose with, you go. Again, this just looks so bad. Now, when you look at figures like Batman Beyond, uh, when you look at these figures here, look at this. Imagine if this, this whole finished suit were on Batgirl. That will look so good. She looks great next to uh, Batman. I think Batman Beyond, well, this one uh, kind of takes the cake too. I love those figures. They're so bulky, but they don't fit in my collection. So, I mean, I don't know. Again, I would like to know your thoughts down below. Um, I'm personally not picking this up. And, you know, if I really wanted to, there are, again, just a few off puts with this uh, figure. I mean, I do find it interesting, again, when you go from this, her bust is, you know, it's it's not that big, right? And that's totally cool, but, you know, Hot Toys took some liberties, again. And uh, they just, they went with their gut on this one. So, anyway, I digress. Let me know what you all think down below. This is Jonathan with Boston Collectors. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like the video. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the flippity flop.